Hey y'all, what's going on? Uh, uh-uh. I'm right here at Centro de Aviva Miento Principe de Paz, Iglesia Cristiana. I have no clue what any of that means, but I'm pretty sure that I'm on a church property right now in a parking lot. And I'm right off of Les Harrison and Calabra. That's right, I'm back to report on what is just right outside what appears to be a Christian church property. Right outside the property line, you're going to find this guy right here. And if you didn't know, on the other side is going to be the exact same thing. A billboard. Featuring some sleazy man. His nose is all red. His look is very sleazy. It's definitely not to be trusted. But then again, I don't know this man. He does not have his name on the billboard. He is not a famous person who I recognize. I assume from the billboard that this is a man that works at what appears to be the Obamacare local enrollment office. I don't know how official that is, but like I said before, this man obviously needs to repent. All right, and right now I'm in the stage, and honestly, I'm holding back a lot, but I am still on the stage where I'm praying for this man. To see the error in his ways, putting his face on a billboard that also contains the name of a man who <coughs> is probably one of the biggest liars in all of the world, in all of the world's history. There's a president who's lied to you about, well, Obamacare, he's lied to you about the website. Uh, he lied to you about guns. He lied to you about gay marriage. Uh, he lied to you about the troops. He lied to you about Guantanamo. He's lied to you about some crazy, crazy things. And <coughs> Truth be told, no one knows too much about his childhood. The other day, I heard him lie about where his mother and father met trying to say that they met in Alabama <coughs> and I, that never happened in fact it, it so much didn't happen that Obama was born four years before the before the day that he said he was born <coughs> this man will lie about anything Obama all right let's get that straight if you're gonna put your face on a billboard with him then my friend, you're going to go down with him. Still don't know your name. I also considered the idea that maybe, just maybe, someone was sinister enough to get a picture of this completely innocent man. And put him on the billboard without his knowledge. And if that is the case, then that entity, whoever did that, they're, they're going to receive my curse but times double. What I curse this man, instead I'm gonna take the curse off this innocent man and put it on you times two. But from what I'm going, from what I'm going on, this person is a real person. He thought, hey, let me put my face on a billboard, I'm gonna get some money. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get some of that Obama money. But you need to see the error in your ways and actually I'm giving you way, way too much time. <laughs> I'm being ultra considerate. I'm gonna give you until April the 1st, which is when I assume that billboards should be taken down and replaced by others. I will give you until April 1st and then guess what? <coughs> it's cursing time, baby. And I'm gonna be working uh, to, get, to get very swole. I'm gonna be reading the Bible. 
I'm gonna be figuring out <coughs> just how hard that I can curse you. All right, I'm gonna be doing preacher curls. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have a six pack. I'm gonna have six pack abs when I curse you. Do not get cursed. Because when I curse you, I will curse you and your whole family. I will curse your dog if you have one. I will curse your dog to die a shameful, embarrassing, and public death. And I do not want to do this, but as a man of God, <coughs> I do have the right to curse you. So, either I will see you or I will not see you on April the 1st, where you will either become or not become the biggest fool, if you know what I'm saying. Please don't get cursed. <laughs>